The Christmas props got leaked. I repeat, the Christmas props got leaked. What's up, everybody? Halloween candy here. Even though we are actually not talking about Halloween today, we're talking about Christmas props because the Christmas props for Home Depot were leaked, and I'm actually really excited for them. I've seen them, uh, but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do a, a review on them anyway. But uh, yeah, so um, <laughs> so, so um, before I get started, I gotta get these uh, get these hand-painted gloves off because they were really only for an entrance look and I can't really touch my screen to to uh look at them here with uh with with the gloves on so yeah also before I get started um these I actually grabbed from Instagram from decorating fanatics and I will tag her here just to give her the credit and so the um her name is on the um is on the pictures I'm using here so yeah just um just to giving you the credit and yeah so here we go so first up here is the um, third, I believe, thirteen foot. Um, oh my hair! Goodness. We have uh, the thirteen foot Jack Skellington in a Santa outfit. So this is a. Um, I mean, I think this is gonna be a whole new prop. Just, um, I, and I do like it, but why didn't they? This is something they should have done for the. Um, for the uh, original Jack Skellingtons, because they also made a Santa variant of the um, of the Jack Skellington seven foot prop. And while I think it's great to have a um, Santa Jack, why didn't they just make a separate outfit for him? Like, so you don't have to spend all your money on two Jack animatronics, and then you'll have two laying around. And I keep hitting the camera. This thing is this thing is plugged in, and I keep hitting the uh, hitting this um, the end of it, so it keeps tilting. So okay, all right. I'm just a. Uh... So um, for uh, this Jack, they should have uh, had a separate costume, so that you don't have two simultaneous Jack Skellingtons. Like not during. When it's like Easter or something, you're just gonna have two Jack Skellingtons in your basement waiting to be put up at the right time. Why didn't the, it would save a lot of money if it was a um if it had um a, it was just an outfit. So yeah, um, but it, it it looks cool. Don't think I don't like this. I do like it. I think it's cool, and I like the way um the thirteen foot Jack looks. When I saw him in person for the first time, I was blown away. It was so cool, and his serve. I hear he probably will have, still have his servo movements, and yeah, it's 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 a good prop. I do think it um was a little unnecessary just to make a second um Jack animatronic, and maybe should have just made an outfit for him. You might need a ladder to get it on, but hey, why not? All right. Afterwards, we have Mickey Mouse. We've got a this guy's. I think is a returning prop from last year. I, I think it was last year, and. He's cute. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's four feet tall, which is how I imagine Mickey Mouse. So this, um, and I, I'm pretty sure he does move and he sings. And I also saw something about a Minnie Mouse on, um, um, at leaked. And I'm actually very happy that we have both Mickey and Minnie now. And maybe soon enough, maybe in the next few years, we'll get Donald, we'll get Goofy, Daisy. Heck, if you want to go obscure Clarabelle or even Horace. Okay, okay, my uh, obscure Disney knowledge is really shining through here. I'm sorry. Okay, so it would be really cool if um, for all the other characters. But so far, this Mickey Mouse and what I also believe will be a Minnie Mouse are are cute. It's a really good option for people that don't, aren't really into the creepy Christmas thing, unlike, unlike me. But even then, I would still have like, like to have this Mickey Mouse. It's cute. Super cute. It's, I think it's great for any Disney fan. So next um, next up here is the reindeer, which I'm pretty sure is also a returning one. I actually own this reindeer, but it looks a little bit different from, it looks a little bit different from the one that I have. It looks darker and the, uh, the sclera is much more clear. That's totally random. But I would think that it's just a prototype. Maybe they did change its design, but it's, um, Maybe it probably is the same thing. And uh, this was just a little idea I came up with. What if somebody had a this reindeer animatronic and painted its nose red so that it could, um, that it can uh, look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Like, I do really like, uh, I do really think that that could be fun. You don't just have a generic reindeer, even though I like mine how it is. 
And so, um, and heck, want to know what I think would also be cool? If they made life-size props of the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer from Rankin Bass. Like, that would be so cool. And maybe we'd have Clarice and, um, and the Snowman. And okay, that's a, that's a lot of, um, that's already, I'm already <laughs> going to commit nuts. I love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, although it's a little bit messed up. Maybe I'll do an analysis on that later in the Christmas season. But yeah, I think that it would be, um... It, 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 that'd be fun, but I do like the reindeer as he is. He's super cute. Next up here is the uh, 12 foot skeleton in a Santa outfit. Uh, let, me, uh, let me get a look here and see, is, is it just a separate skeleton or an outfit? All right, I looked and it seems to me that this is just an outfit. See, Tome Depot, you are capable of making giant outfits for giant props. Why Why didn't you do that with Jack Skellington? Okay, okay. At least I'm pretty sure this is a 12-foot skeleton. Is it the, or is it the three-foot variant? I would hope it's the 12-foot. Otherwise, uh, I'd be like, what the heck? I will point out that it is in short sleeves and shorts, like, like sort of short pants here. And uh, so, like, it looks like a summer Santa to me. Like, uh, but it is, uh, it's coming out during Christmas, so... I mean, I don't know. Do skeletons uh, feel cold? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. They don't have any skin. They don't have any uh, capabilities of sweating or shivering. I don't know. They're just they're just moans. But there's it, it's cute though. I like that it's a separate outfit. That twelve foot skeleton. They are hooking him up with some good stuff. I thought they were gonna discontinue them, but it doesn't look like they are. They're even giving him a dog and extra eyes and I guess new clothes too. So yay. All right, I decided to save this guy for last because y'all, if y'all know me pretty well, y'all know that I was going to freak out about this one. I didn't actually think they were going to do this, even though I wished really hard for it. They made a life-sized Ebenezer Scrooge. Yes, yes, all my wishes come true. Yes, ha! <laughs> I've actually wanted Home Depot to make a Christmas Carol sort of prop for a quite a long time, and... I didn't actually think they would do it. I was just like, this is some silly little dream of mine. But they did it. And it's it, it's creepy. I like it. It's okay. So, uh, when, fun, fa fun fact. Um, when uh, I was um, derealist, uh, I, 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 what was the number order of your channel again? I'm sorry. But um, Xavier, when you, when, if you're watching this, um, when you showed me that, I actually screamed at the top of my lungs. Like, no joke. And my sister was watching me. And so I was really, really excited. Thank you for showing me this. And some of my other friends were all like, Candy, look, a Scrooge prop. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is kind of the only one I really, really care about. The others, I'm just like, hey, cool prop and stuff. But this, this feels like a need for me. I mean, I really hope I can get it. It might be kind of expensive and maybe a little too scary for some of the folks in my house. Let me get, I'm going to get a closer look at him just so I can fully examine it. It does look a little zombified, maybe because it's super pale. I mean, I mean, it's almost ghostly pale, like by how pale he is and how he just looks kind of, those hands look kind of skeletal. Maybe it's just the, uh, maybe it, or, or those gloves, I don't know. But I mean, it is a little um, spooky looking. Maybe if you like threw some chain, got this guy, threw some chains on him and, uh, and making it look like that he did not listen to Jake, be just Ebenezer when he, when, uh, when Jake came into his house, like, screw you, Jake, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna not, not listen to you, and then he just dies on a pile of chains, okay, okay, but, although, I don't mind how freaky he looks here, like, I mean, I feel like it'd be even scarier if it was, was more human, like, you know how I feel about those, uh, Santa Claus props, you know how I feel about those? I think Santas are scarier than this guy and Jack Frost. Yeah, Jack Frost, I feel like, really opened the doorway for a creepy, um, really creepy, um, Christmas stuff, and that's my kind of thing. I love creepy Christmases. That's why I love A Christmas Carol so much. Yeah, hopefully, maybe in the next few years, we can get the ghosts as well. That would be really nice. So, that was the props from, uh, those are the props from the leak post that I saw, but I'm not finished yet. So actually a while back, I was having a conversation with my friend Bobby K and shout out to you Bobby K for a whole segment. And he actually um, told me, gave me um, some ideas for what all the Christmas Carol animatronics could be like if Home Depot did them. This was, this was a while back actually. So this was before we ever knew of a Scrooge prop. So 
and uh, I thought, what well, this is a this is a Christmas prop video, and there's not very many to show, so why not just I'll just include it here because I think there's such cool ideas. I'm just pitching them right now, and uh, I, I did get permission from him to share, to share these, so thank you very much. So I'm reading it from here. So what he said, he said that Scrooge would be like a servo, like THD or something. Maybe, maybe the one that we got is a servo or maybe he's going to move like Jack Frost. Maybe like, maybe it's a, it's, but yeah, it's a, it, that would be pretty cool if it was servo though. But he also mentioned that Marley, my man Marley, I mean, look at me, um, he would be towering chained ghost from basically the towering chained ghost maybe a little bit more on the realistic less cartoony side but i have to admit i feel like it if, i mean maybe people just think it was just a coincidence that the towering chain ghost looks like jacob marley but i think there's more reasons why he looks like that i've talked about this guy so many times but i feel like i gotta go in depth so of course you know he's got the chains that's the distinguishing thing about about him that's what made people think oh my god it's jacob marley but there's more like one thing I, w I that was very obvious to me but i don't know if it's obvious for non-christmas carol fans but like my, the, the weight of my hair is making my head made my head just tilt this way the whole time so that's why it was and oh no the back is going undone oh no i'm sorry so yeah where was i yeah um so there was if you look at his jaw it's very loose like it's like almost like it's falling off and it's the way it's moving is kind of loose and in the book and even in some adaptations um in the past they would um seal dead bodies um bandages ba seal bandages on the on the, the on the dead body i'm getting my words mixed up onto the dead body's jaw to keep it from breaking or going loose i don't know but um they um his and in the one part in the book he unties it and his jaw like breaks off like down to it's literally said like drop drops down to his chest which is kind of scary now it doesn't drop to the chest on the prop but it looks loose all right and there is no bandage to be seen so that is if that that either that's just a crazy coincidence or or spirit was onto something here i also think that the clothes are kind of could be from dickensy in london the clothes are definitely um could um could be um relevant as well but i think also one of the most obvious to a diehard christmas carol fan like me are the phrases the phrases honestly really do feel like something jake would say well mostly of course they had to evilify it a little bit you know because that's a halloween prop but when, uh, specifically when he says it's a devilish fate i wish upon no one or i think i just paraphrased that i don't know if i said that right it's a devilish non-existence i don't wish on anybody but with that but he he wouldn't he the reason why he came to scrooge in the story was to stop him from suffering the chains fate and i gotta say it's pretty uncomfortable just having all these around my neck is not very not very comfortable but like that that has it, i don't think it's a coincidence spear i think you were onto something here okay okay all right enough about that uh so the after that now i'm seeing that it was a um the having the three the ghost of christmas past present and future the trio of time traveling ghosts which is sometimes what i like to call them um they um he said that it could be a reskin of the ghost trio which is an awesome idea that would be like three for the price of one really big animatronic that would actually be really nice like you could just get them all together and don't have to worry about just uh it's like buying in bulk almost <laughs> although he also said a 12 foot ghost of christmas present would be awesome which i agree because he's big like he's a he's a giant that that's how he was described in the book how he's portrayed in a lot of adaptations I mean, of course, we could just get a big old Santa Claus. I would, I would have to risk being scared of Santa Clauses just so I can transform a Santa into the ghost of Christmas present. Because that's uh, maybe, maybe that'll make me less scared of it. Cause I, 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 it, yeah. <laughs> and with, I mean, with future, that's easy. I think we could just grab a Grim Reaper prop that's hooded and stuff. Maybe, maybe if it's reaching out. Uh, what, what was that one? Was it the Gatekeeper? gatekeeper animatronic that um that is holding a lantern or something or maybe um is there one that's pointing because that's what he does just like hooded reaper goes to christmas future yeah as for past separately um 
he actually um, gave me this idea to for transform this prop right here into the Ghost of Christmas Past, which I think is an excellent idea. If I uh, if I could afford all those props, I would do that happily, but also it would probably take up a whole room as well. <laughs> yeah, but I think that these are great ideas. Thank you very much, um, Bobby K, for giving them to me. I'm very happy that I got to feature them in this video. Okay, so uh, that was my reactions to the new um, to the new um, leaks for Home Depot's Christmas line. There may be more than that though, because you know they're just leaks. I think it'd be really cool to when, once they fully release them and we can see their um, their phrases and professionally recorded. But hey, yeah, I think it looks pretty good for Home Depot so far, especially for that Scrooge. I think he really raised it up for me though. I'm very happy with that thing. So if you like, um, if you like uh, creepy stuff, if you like Halloween, Christmas, or anything really that is, that's creepy in a way, um, be sure to subscribe to this channel and, or else three spirits will come and haunt you. Nah, I'm just kidding. I think. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Goodness mean, I really, really see what, 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 um, what he means by how uncomfortable these chains are. Just having them on my neck is not very pleasant. <laughs>